Susan Oliver was an American director, actress, and aviator. She was born on February 13, 1932 as Charlotte Girk in New York City. Her parents were George Girk and Ruth Oliver. Her father was a journalist and a political reporter, while her mother was an astrology practitioner. At the age of three, her parents divorced. She lived with her father when she was a teenager and traveled overseas to Japan. She went to various public schools and boarding. She studied at the Tokyo International College in 1948-1949 and developed an interest in Japan's deep obsession with American popular culture. In the spring of 1949, Susan went back to her mother in South California. Ruth was gaining a reputation as Hollywood's astrologer. She made a decision to venture into acting. She used her mother's maiden name Susan Oliver as her stage name. Susan was back east, studying drama at Pennsylvania's Swarthmore College, for four years. While finding stage work in both summer stock and regional theaters, she then continued her training at New York City's Neighborhood Playhouse. Commercials and daytime-slash-primetime television work started coming Susan's way and, by that time, she had already changed her stage moniker to the more flowing name of Susan Oliver. Oliver began the year 1957 with a debut ingenue role as the daughter of an 18th-century Manhattan family in the Broadway comedy Small War on Murray Hill. This show opened and closed at the Ethel Barrymore Theater after only nine days. She however got a better role the same year in the Superior Kitchen sink drama Look Back in Anger when she replaced Mary Ure as Alison Porter. Susan continued to find extensive dramatic work in live East Coast television plays, with roles on the Kaiser Aluminum Hour, 1956, the United States Steel Hour, 1953, Studio 57, 1954, and Matinee Theater, 1945. She then went back to Los Angeles for more on-camera opportunities and attained guest roles on such popular primetime series as Wagon Train, 1957, Father Knows Best, 1954, The Millionaire, 1955, and The Lineup, 1954. In The Green-Eyed Blonde, low-budget independent melodrama she became the title role which was her first motion picture. The film was shot in black and white, so it didn't matter that Susan's eyes were blue. It is the only motion picture which Oliver received top billing. In Drum Crazy which occurred two years later in 1959, Susan returned to the big screen as another tough cookie. She was a jazz singer who lures the renowned drummer, played by Sal Mineo, down the road to drugs and near ruin. She earned great notices and won New York's Theatre World Award for her outstanding breakout performance. She continued to offer a number of striking and often showy, neurotic performances on episodes of Bonanza, 1959, Wanted. Dead or Alive, 1958, 77 Sunset Strip, 1958, Wagon Train, 1957, The Virginian, 1962, Adventures in Paradise, 1959, Route 66, 1960, Doctor. Kildare, 1961, and The Fugitive, 1963, on early 1960s. Film-wise, she found a few lead and support roles in the Elizabeth Taylor-starred Butterfield 8, 1960, as a psychiatric nurse in the All-Star Hospital melodrama Borderlines, 1963, in the Tailored for the Teens romp. Her most challenging role during this time was as the ambitious wife of doomed country music legend Hank Williams, George Hamilton, in offbeat casting, in Your Cheating Heart, 1964. Her name remained active particularly on television. She graced such series as The Travels of Jamie McFeeters, 1963, Burke's Law, 1963, Doctor. Kildare, 1961, Ben Casey, 1961, Gomer Pyle, USMC, 1964, My Three Sons, 1960, The Invaders, 1967, and Mannix, 1967. Classic television showcases includes the episode, The Twilight Zone People Are Alike All Over, 1960, in which she plays the beautiful Martian Tina, who encounters astronaut Roddy McDowell, and the unsold pilot episode Star Trek, The Cage, 1966, as Vina, the sole survivor of a crashed spaceship who charms Captain Christopher Pike, Jeffrey Hunter the captain subsequently replaced by William Shatner as Captain James T. Kirk, when the show became a series. Footage from that pilot was later incorporated into the two-part episode The Menagerie. 
When her regular role as in Howard in the primetime soap opera Peyton Place, 1964, was pushed off a cliff to her death in 1996, Susan made bittersweet news. This was written out after only five months of a year-long planned role, audiences, as well as Susan, were saddened by the loss of a character they had grown to care about. Subsequently, Susan starred in her own pilot for a new series, Apartment in Rome, but that didn't sell. Her late 1960s work in a variety of film genres didn't help to advance her career as they were few. In 1996 she had a commercial plane scare. The near-death experience kept the actress on solid ground for well over a year, before she managed to overcome her paralyzing fear. After fully recovering in 1970 she co-piloted a single-engine Piper Comanche to victory in the Powder Puff Derby racing event, a victory that earned her the name, Pilot of the Year. The Soviet government denied her entrance to their airspace in an attempt to fly to Moscow, and she was forced to end her journey in Denmark. She later wrote an autobiography about her flying exploits called Odyssey, a daring transatlantic journey, 1983. She focused on small screen with roles in the made-for-TV movies Tomorrow's Child, 1982, and International Airport, 1985, and standard guest starring on The Love Boat, 1977, Murder, she wrote, 1984, Simon and Simon, 1981, and Freddy's Nightmares, 1988, during her last years. She directed episodes of M Asterisk A Asterisk S Asterisk H, 1972, and Trapper John, M.D. 1979. Susan never married which leads some of her fans to conclude that she was a lesbian, but her lovers were male. She was a longtime smoker and was diagnosed with lung cancer. She died at the age of 58 at the Motion Picture and Television Hospital in Woodland Hills, California on May 10, 1990.